Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity on behalf of StarCast TV. At the 12 o'clock location, we have Soma starting as the light green Zerg bottom left hand corner. We have none other than Light, aka Eros Winner, as the kind of interesting moniker there. As the white Terran, this is going to be on Ascension. And I am not going to give ASL spoilers, but these are definitely two ASL caliber players. And we'll see how they do this season. I think Soma is one of those guys where people feel like he... Actually, both these guys, I feel like they're the players where a lot of the Zerg feel like Soma's our guy, and that's the leader of the pack, and the one guy who's really innovating or making things happen. Um, and maybe Queen. Maybe Queen out there. And then you have uh, Light, who's been the clear leader of the Terran. And honestly, I feel like Light sharing so much information is part of the reason we've just seen such a glut of Terrans tearing it up in ASL and other places recently. Initial SCV scout, or sorry, not scout, SCV making a supply depot at the front edge. One thing for Light though is, is despite all of his fantastic play, despite arguments that he's still in the absence of Flash or Flash playing random the best, potentially the best player, but definitely the best Terran out there for that argument from Artosis, I would maybe say JYJ is the best right now. Um, granted, JYJ won, so now I feel like I can spoil it. Granted, JYJ won the last ASL, but I feel even and it's not just, I, I don't know that it's just flash in the pan. I feel like JYJ not only played aggressive, he also played macro, and he just showed a degree of aggression and creativity that really set him apart. Feels like all Terran are deploying that recently, though. Point being, Light hasn't gotten the deep ASL runs or wins that have behooved the, I guess, the title of leader of Terran as of, as of recently. So we'll see if that shifts I have no idea when this is going to be posted, by the way, by uh, Cruiser. Shout out to him, the guy who runs StarCast TV. So this might all be silly, and this might be posted after the recent ASL or when Light is potentially already eliminated, but go ahead and keep all of that in mind. Looks like we're seeing a gas grab along Spawning Pool, so everything looking like it is going to be a two-hatch opener. SCV scouting the way up, Overlord finding that bottom right-hand corner and seeing nothing, so repositioning towards the, it looks like this overlord wants to try to take a safe path to get along that edge and get over that cliffside. But what this does do is this allows light to go ahead and drop that command center a little bit more rapidly, play a little bit lighter on the Marines. And it's going to be also the kind of the spawn of this is a little bit more challenging for Zerg overall, because you have to dedicate Zerglings to the front to keep an eye on the troop count. And so it is possible light could abuse this position, could abuse the fact that the overlord's out of position and build either sneak some marines and build them behind the lines or skimp on marines and play that way in the meantime is SCV able to scoop a little bit of marine a uh, little bit of marine a little bit of minerals out of the line take some damage from the drone on his way across but base is up layer is mutating and we're just seeing a pair of zerglings of the natural expansion being constructed SCV making way back to the front we do have a gas up fairly quick from light Let's see, and he's going just with the one Rax play thus far. Let's see if he drops the second barracks or if he's just going to do a mech transition here. Thus far, I think this is turning into, after that second expansion is up, a transition to mech. And again, I'm wondering if this is because of the positioning and the lack of Overlord. And so I like this play because basically what Light definitely abusing the positioning here where the Overlord's going to have trouble spotting. So this is going to look like a sufficient amount of Marines for just standard Marine play. But in the meantime, we got that factory dropping in the background. My curiosity now is, does this become an all-out factory transition? Does this turn into Valkyrie play? Does this turn into a just very rapid science vessel? There's just, the possibilities are endless. But in the meantime, he's going to need some anti-air up because that spire is constructing on the way. Zergling speed also completing. And so I'm certainly going to try to dedicate some Mutalisks to see what's going on out in the field. Another SCV trying to make its way across. It looks like Soma lost an Overlord someplace on the map. I missed the exact positioning of it, but he's deep in the red. How did that happen? Overlord may be getting out of position. I feel bad for missing that. That's like really crucial. Where did the Overlord go that it got killed? But anyway, Overlord's dead. And that is a very early supply cap and brutal. Looks like Soma gonna try to recover by grabbing a quick third. To make something of it the zerglings continuing to test that front door and it looks like this is either going to be valkyries or very quick i assume valkyries to help deal with the mutalisks but 
Light could really have a lot of breathing room because this SUV making its way back in, he's going to see the Spire first of all and see okay saturation, but not amazing saturation out on the front. The Marine's actually peeling out. The Zergling's still not able to breach the front because that's a complete seal. So six Marines are actually marching towards the front as the mutilists are being constructed. Light playing like a madman. Maybe he was hoping to catch something in between. The Zergling's actually drawing back defensively. Let's see if that was just to buy some time. Now two additional barracks being dropped. Is there even an engineering bay though? This is not a lot. Of, so this is seven Marines. There's the starport and control tower being dropped, but Mulus are in construction. We do have an armory, maybe to build a Goliath. And a Marine, uh, it looked like that was, oh man, neither player playing all that great because it looked like a single Marine had to get killed gleaned off the front to get that initial Valkyrie constructing because there was a supply depot missed. 44 out of 44. That seems to be timing for Altaran. So single turret at the natural. But Soma has strong enough Mutalist Micro that I don't think he's going to respect this at all. And the Valkyrie is not yet up. So additional ICVs taking some shots. That additional turret not there yet. And the Marines honestly cannot reinforce this because if they do, that could be it for the Medic Marines. Oh man, that turret's still managing it up. And now that Valkyrie spawning on top of the Mutalisks. So in a quick turnaround, the Mutalist is able to draw right back up, but an additional Scourge, honestly, could just sneak underneath this. This is a lot of territory to defend and not a lot of anti-air to do it with. So let's see if the Mutalist reposition. It's going to be very taxing for Light to keep an eye on everything on the front. The Zergling's chipping away, and it looks like a move around there from Soma wants to take the angle to the natural expansion. The Valkyrie moving in. Keep in mind... Ooh, Every last shot, every last missile hits that entire bunch when they're grouped like that, and so they do amazing damage. The Scourge starting to move forward to join that front, and that was honestly a little bit risky from Light because he pushed that Valkyrie a little bit too far forward where it could have gotten picked off. So now the Scourge are bunched alongside. We do have two Valkyries out. An attempted split. The Scourge don't die, but they don't land on the Valkyries either. Soma still trying to test that natural expansion. The third gas is up and running without too much trouble. And Mutal is still trying to find ways to harass, but despite all of this, if you look at that worker count, Soma's doing great. He's actually ahead in the overall worker positioning because Light's had to cut quite a bit here and there to just keep himself from getting wiped out. And again, kind of a risky maneuver there with, okay, now he's got three Valkyries, going to try to fan out and deal with this. This tends to be the golden number for engagement, but it can be a little bit hard to micro them. They're able to pick off the units, but Light sneaking an army in between is attacking towards the front. Soma doing some of things and only dropping a single Sultan Colony to try to defend this. A lot of the Mutalists have been wiped out. I Usually I would say this isn't sufficient, but this is Soma, so let's see if he's able to defend it. Lurker spawning right in the nick of time. This is Soma style defenses here, I tell you what. Another Overlord's been picked off. It looks like the Mutalists have been hunted down, however. Or a Mutalist has been hunted down. The rest of the Mutalists trying to fan out. Light repositioning. There's no Nidus Canal top right, but there are two Lurkers there. And keep in mind, with this opener to Valkyrie, that delays the Science Vessels quite a bit. In fact, we're seeing a dropship constructed instead of a Science Vessel here. Mutalists re-engaging at the natural. Soma still trying to pick away at Light's Worker line. Still only two Barracks up, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks like a... Oh, sorry, there are three barracks, but that barracks... Additional barracks has been very, very quiet in the meantime. Hunting for Valkyries and just eating a lot of damage as they're moving between point A. That Mutalist force, not sufficient to really be a threat. And Light fanning right back out. A second, a second creep colony being built on the front. Soon to be a sunken colony. Light likes what he sees, so he's going to go ahead and dive in against that Lurker line. And with the commsat able to take that out, and now the Valkyrie is able to get in position and start chewing into the Overlords overhead as well. Lurker just spawning, coming from the sorry, Lurkers from the third moving in to deal with this Medic Marine army and Light running across, but a lot of drones getting taken out. Marines able to stop the gas at the main, and it looks like they're going to get some additional drone kills. So Soma's defense and a rare instance here getting breached and Overlords getting wiped out as well, so massive amounts of damage being done with this attack from Light. Able to sneak into the main, get, oh, wow, lurkers on top of it, and now 
complete breach right here. Lurker's making their way back to home base just in case there was a Mutalisk counter. And the Medic Marine's still hanging out, being a pain for these Lurkers to deal with. One Marine remains, but another grouping of Marines stimming all the way across. It looks like they want to take another shot at the natural expansion. We got 13 drones left. 13 drones left total. Hydralisk saving themselves by morphing. But another dead Lurker or two at, well, one and a half, it looks like. As they're trying to reposition and Soma is out of this match, I got to say. This is just for show to try to stay to try to stabilize. And a dropship moving in as well. And that yeah, it's just not gonna be sufficient. You have Valkyries overhead spotting everything to make sure that he can get in, and this is where a lot of tech is located. Some scourge moving forward. Overlord's getting taken out. The dropship does get wiped out, but four marines make it behind that. That was really heads up from Soma. But even with this, he's still sitting at 17 drones. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to save his Hydralis then. Overlord's getting picked off all over the map. He's in the red again at 35. Right this second. And the Valkyries are still full health and active. And we got some more vulnerable Overlords at the third. And another dropship scooping up to engage there. This is the one mining base for Soma. He's forced to build drones right here. A counterattack of Lurkers towards the front. Bunkers are already in place to provide some support. We have the drop of Marines. Is Soma even mining anymore? So his main is natural. Okay, he's mining at his natural, but definitely going to lose his third. Definitely going to lose these overlords. So these lurkers are going to be it for Soma. He needs to win them on these lurkers, and he's going to go up against two bunkers, and there is a turret in place. A science vessel overhead as well to provide some spotting. So the lurkers diving all the way in, walking past the bunker line, able to get into the natural expansion at the very least. So going to be able to get the close position turret. Two lurkers remain. Good kills on one of them, but in the meantime, Mutalisk spawning, engaging Valkyries, and that third has been wiped out, and that's a dropship. Yeah, so I'm going to GG. Kind of it was that last second sputtering, like, I can hurt you if you want, you know, sort of thing after the fact. I can hurt you. So wild play, both directions, but light ending up the victor. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for listening.